Creatives everywhere understand the need for power and reliability on the go when the time comes to work remotely or on site. Being able to work with programs like Premiere Pro, Photoshop and After Effects smoothly is always heaven sent, especially when there isn't an available power source nearby. And that's exactly what HP brings to the table with the ZBook Ultra G1A 14-inch mobile workstation PC. It is jam-packed with hardware artificial intelligence accelerators to enhance your workflow wherever your next project may take you. It looks super sleek and thin, it won't take up a ton of space in your bag, and it's perfect for just about anybody that's either starting out their creative journey or veterans looking to upgrade a kid. This laptop was built with the next generation of creative professionals and data scientists in mind, giving them the power, portability, and AI-ready performance they need to get the job done and then some. To kick things off with a pretty big bang, this is rocking the AMD Ryzen AI Max Pro processing chip that will have you rendering and working with your project simultaneously, alongside 128GB of unified memory, which is kind of crazy if you think about it. What's even crazier is that you're able to assign 96 gigs of RAM exclusively to the GPU, which means more juice for the ZBook Ultra G18 to handle heavy graphical loads. With 512 gigs of storage and up to 4 terabytes depending on your deal with your local dealer, that's a ton of real estate for you to fill up with your files and work with. Those hardware AI accelerators I mentioned earlier will help you run productivity tasks of up to 50 tops NPU, which basically means you are going to get all the stuff you need to get done a lot quicker. On top of all of that, its 14-inch display is iSafe certified, which means it meets TUV low blue light standard for eye comfort without distorting colors, and this translates into the ability to still see accurate colors without the fatigue getting to you. There is a healthy number of ports for you to utilize. On the left of the laptop, you've got one HDMI 2.1, a USB-C Type-C, and a Thunderbolt 4 USB-C Type-C, both of which can be used for USB power delivery and DisplayPort 2.1 capabilities. On the right side, you've got one USB Type-A, a security lock, and another USB-C Type-C. It weighs in at 1.5 kg and goes up depending on what upgrades you have in mind and has a 74.5 watt hour battery that works in tandem with the laptop's AI capabilities to make it battery efficient and get you through your day. To sum it up, you're going to experience some pretty nifty rendering and performance with this year laptop. It surprised even me. At full playback resolution on Premiere Pro, I can scroll through my timeline smooth as butter, unplugged. For a lot of us, we'd usually have to pray to the Adobe gods that Premiere Pro doesn't crash on us when we're just trying to launch it. But with this thing, oh man, it's got a great thing going for it. Before we show you how this laptop runs, I have taken the liberty to put this through a PC Mark 10 benchmark. So here are the results. The ZBook Ultra G1A Unplugged scored 5,435 overall, 7,839 for essentials, 6,436 for productivity, and 8,636 for digital content. Plugged in, the ZBook Ultra G1A scored 5,437 overall, 7,278 for its essentials, 6,594 for productivity, and 9,080 for digital content. With that done, let's get straight to testing. So before I put the laptop through its paces, I'll be using OBS to record the process because, you know, people love to record their processes when they are doing their work for content creation purposes and whatsoever, especially, you know, like graphic designers and everything, and of course, artists out there and even some video guys. So that's going to be happening while we run Premiere Pro, Lightroom, and Photoshop all at the same time. So let's just see how performance is like. The power mode has been set to balanced, and of course, we are not plugged in at all. The playback resolution has been set to full, and let's just scroll through a little bit down here. As you can see, that's hella smooth as you run through the B-roll over here, and then back into the A-roll, and then going back into another B-roll over here, and that is super smooth. So there are a couple layers we're working with right now. There is Wallpaper Engine, OBS, and Premiere Pro. We're going to be adding another layer to that with Lightroom, so I can look at some pictures that I'm working on right now while we render and export this video. So while I look at the photos over here, we are going to be rendering and exporting that video from Premiere Pro real quick. Let me just get to that, and file. We're gonna go with a VBR60 real quick. And yep, everything has been set to render maximum depth, render quality, this is usually what we go with over here. And let's export that. So while this is running, we're gonna be going to Lightroom and look at some photos over here real quick. Just play around with the adjustments a little bit. That's still, it's still very smooth, wow. So as I'm running through the photos right now, that isn't much of an issue. And while Premiere is exporting over here, let's open up Photoshop real quick and do a little thumbnail. And we'll be exporting the thumbnail as well. But before that, let's export a couple photos from Lightroom. We are gonna go with uh, 70 photos. We're gonna export these uh, dimensions uh, custom. We're gonna go 1920. All right, export. 
So Lightroom is exporting at the same time as Premiere Pro and everything is still working. This thing is still at seven minutes. Two out of 70, oh, that thing is moving fast. Still at seven minutes, we are in Photoshop right now. And while these two are exporting stuff, we are gonna be heading into Photoshop and opening up a file. And we are like 70, 80% right now. That, that is, oh my Lord. 70 photos with Premiere Pro rendering and exporting that video. And it's an, like a 10 minute, 50 second video. And we have Photoshop opened up as well with Prem still running the export. So that's pretty sick. You can do things simultaneously while being unplugged from a power source. However, it wouldn't be fair to Premiere Pro or the ZBook Ultra G1A if we were to run the export timings based off that little test we just did. So what I'm going to do is run the export of a 10 minute and 50 second 4K video filled with B-roll and lots of other assets inside and run this plugged and unplugged and I'll let you guys know the results in a bit. Two more things to note before I start the test. I have turned off OBS and wallpaper engine. So let's run unplugged versus plugged with unplug first of course All right and before we start anything here is the battery it is unplugged and let's hit export with the unplugged test done we're going to be plugging it in and see how this goes all the conditions here are still the same dbr1 pass 60 and of course you know we are plugged in right now as you can see so export the test ends when the export box is closed completely. So let's check the timings first real quick for unplugged. It is seven minutes and eight seconds. That's honestly damn decent. The only reason why I want the end of the test to be when the export box closes is so that you have access to the timeline again once that closes. So that's the reason. The box closes at five minutes and 53 seconds on the dot. You and I can both agree that a full 4K video with everything on there, you got text, you got B-rolls and everything all in the timeline exported in seven minutes and eight seconds unplugged on a laptop is pretty damn impressive. Not to mention that I had Photoshop turned on while exporting 70 photos in Lightroom and exporting the video in Premiere Pro at the same time with OBS recording everything and wallpaper engine running in the background without the entire laptop crashing. This is, I don't know what to say man. HP really talks the talk and walks the walk. With so much processing power in such a compact light and sleep package, I wouldn't mind getting one for myself. The ZBook Ultra G1A is one of those laptops that is definitely worth checking out if you're in the market for a laptop because the results do not lie. This is perfect for creators from every corner of the ring. Video editors, photographers, digital artists, graphic designers, animators, who I have the utmost respect for because After Effects scares me. Social media interns that need to churn out content or data scientists to do data scientist things. The ZBook Ultra G1A is a bold step towards HP's vision of redefining the future of work, giving creators and data scientists the freedom to push boundaries anywhere and everywhere. This wouldn't be a geek culture video if we didn't put some gaming in it. Yes, it can run Fortnite and Valorant, but you know, just plug it in for good measure. And of course, CS2. It can definitely run CS2. Would you consider getting the HP ZBook Ultra G1A for yourselves? Let me know in the comments below if you are and what you think of it. If you like what we do, maybe follow us on all of our socials right here. We post up stuff daily. And if you want more, maybe leave a like and subscribe to us. It really goes a long way in helping out the channel. This has been Zin. If you want to see more stuff, check this out.